Part 2. Crimson Flower. Guardian Moon. The Master Tactician. Having crushed the Alliance's army and captured the Great Bridge of Murden, the Imperial Army prepares to attack Deirdre, the Alliance's base of operations. North of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Imperial Army passes through the Allied territory of House Gloucester and invades the land of House Regan, which leads the opposition. They move to attack Claude in the capital, Deirdre, where the leader of the Alliance awaits their arrival. It seems they've set out from Garrig Mach, and that's sooner than expected. Losing the Great Bridge of Murden was a serious blow. So is the fact that Teach is still alive. On top of all that, Judith, I told her to run if things look grim. Damn it. So many people will die, and by my call. And what of it? Would you rather turn tail and run back home? Nadir, you're really getting on my nerves. Do you have any idea how much of the Alliance adores me and believes in me? Well, I suppose it's quite a lot. Does that mean that... Yes, the plan is a go. I'm counting on you, Nadir. We'll make a good show taking down those who would assault Deirdre. <laughs> People say our kind may not always win, but we never lose. Let's teach them the real meaning of those words. Now then, let's see what you're made of, Teach. Here she comes, at long last. I've done all I can to prepare. Let the cards fall where they may. It'll be a true test of strength. It seems Claude has blockaded the city and occupied the naval port. <laughs> if that is the case, he will have no choice but to engage us from there. Yes. Though putting myself in Claude's place leaves me with an unpleasant feeling. If we take over the port and close the entry to the city, Deirdre will be under our control. Each soldier should bear that in mind as they advance. There are three gates which connect Deirdre to its naval port. Taking the city will be easy once we secure all three. I'll do my best. Now it's our turn, Almira's elite. Strike the flanks of the Imperial Army. Those fangs and claws the Alliance fears so much will now be their salvation. Leave it to us, kiddo. My undefeated streak will live on. Another chapter in my heroic saga. That flag and banner. Is that the Almiran army? Ugh, you really did it, Claude. This is no ruse. That is Nadir, an Almiran general. Take care of them quickly. Especially those Almiran wyverns. Don't expect me to go easy on you, because I won't. Prepare yourself! <laughs> That's the last of my energy. If you're gonna kill me, make it quick. Fair warning, though, I'll likely come back to haunt you. It's not like I've had an easy time of it, after all. You... want me to join you? The Alliance is over no matter what. The only thing left is to place faith in you and Edelgard. There's still so much I have to accomplish. Thank you for the second chance, Professor. The Almiran reinforcements keep coming. We should try to eliminate Nadir. <laughs> You didn't forget about me, did you? Maybe you should just let me go. I've got another option.
go so soon. Hilda! Why didn't you retreat? I counted on you retreating. continues fighting at the front line. Is the Empire short on troops? Unfortunately, I can't deny it. But then I've heard the Almiran King does the very same. First dude right off the bat already admitting to being a robot. He's not ashamed. He's not gonna get disqualified. This is oh, I got it. Think this show is fair. <laughs> It's been 30-odd years since I first set foot on a field of battle. Here's a taste of my undefeated strength! Done enough, Nadir. Just stay alive. We'll meet again one day. We have forced the Almiran forces to flee. I doubt they're expecting more reinforcements. No hesitation! have the guts to resist anymore. Here, you can have this. Just please don't attack the city. I never planned to touch the city. Our target is the Alliance and their leader, Claude. We haven't seen each other since Garrick Mach. You've grown lovelier than ever, Edelgard. You're not so unfortunate yourself. And as usual, you're here at a most inopportune moment. Well, I'm sure we have much to talk about, but how about we settle things first? No objections here. Prepare yourself, Claude. <laughs> Teach, you should have chosen me instead of Edelgard. No point in whining about it now, I suppose. Sorry, but I'll be taking the win today. I'm sorry! Enough! You've bested me. If I die here, the Alliance becomes part of the Empire. Do you yield then? You've never known when to give up. Well, I can't just surrender so easily. I'm responsible for the others. If you're as smart as you seem, I bet you figured out why I was able to summon Almiran reinforcements. Wouldn't it be better to let me go and have me in your debt? Thank you, Professor. And you, Edelgard. I'm truly grateful for your courageous decision. I will return your kindness one day. I promise. Everybody, raise your voices in a victory cheer! Deirdre is ours! Hey, Teach. Claude. Settle down, will you? You're the victor, after all. 
I could have escaped, but I decided to say hi to Teach. Nothing to worry about. Deirdre has fallen and the Alliance has collapsed. There's nothing I could do to turn things around at this point. You want me to drop my guard around someone who evaded detection by my soldiers? Impossible. Did you really risk coming here just to say hello? I did. But mostly, I wanted to say goodbye. I'm leaving Fodlan. Lend you my... <laughs> I knew I liked you, Teach. I dare say Fodlan would be a lot more peaceful without me around. Right, Your Majesty? It's as you say. So long as you remain here, the faction of the Alliance that is against the Empire will continue to support you. Too true. It's best if I leave this place altogether. I'll just have to find some other way to pay back my debt to you. All I ask is that you go easy on the Alliance. After all, no one there would dare defy you now. And please, treat my former classmates well. I've asked them to cooperate with you if I lost. Wait, did your scheming include a plan for if the Alliance lost? <laughs> uh, you think too highly of me. It just seems that way now. Outside of Deirdre, most of the Alliance is unscathed and ready to join your superior strength. In all honesty, I was hoping to become a supreme ruler and lead Fodlin to peace myself. But that won't be happening now. Claude. Good luck to you, Edelgard. We crushed him in battle and yet... <sighs> He really is difficult to understand. Lady Edelgard, Deirdre is now completely under our control. As planned, the Alliance's affairs will now be overseen by Count Burglies. My father is coming here? First west, then east. You sure keep him busy. Should the others return to the monastery and prepare to face the kingdom? Yes, thank you, Hubert. Thanks to all of your efforts, our battle with the Alliance has reached its conclusion. However, we still can't afford to be careless. We must now join the battle against the Kingdom. With the strength of the Church on their side, they will prove to be a formidable enemy. More than ever, your support is invaluable. We'll need it in the days to come. But for now, let's enjoy our triumphant return. Let's get to it! I'm so happy that the end of the fighting is near. Too bad there's still more violence to come. The Kingdom and the Church of Saros are worthy for fighting. I will crush them into very small pieces. Crushing wouldn't yield a lot of pieces, but I guess it would get the job done. With the Professor, we can't lose. Probably. Oh no. Are we fighting Lady Rhea? But she's scary, and she'll be really angry. But... No way she can stay in her spooky beast form all the time, right? If she could, she would have come and attacked the monastery as many times as she wanted. It may be wishful thinking, but perhaps it is a power that she can only access when the situation is dire. But whether she is the Archbishop or the Immaculate One, we cannot be stopped. Half remains, but half is finished. We are certainly moving forward. <laughs> No one can stop us from pushing forward. No one. <laughs>